podcast is health and fitness and I am delighted to talk to you about a subject that's really important to me. For those of you that know me, you'll know I'm generally always on with taking on some kind of fitness challenge. I have just taken part in my second High Rocks competition of the year. I've also recently joined a group of cold water enthusiasts. No idea why I actually hate being cold, but I hear it does amazing things for your health, so we'll see how it goes. Not sure I'll be swimming the English Channel anytime soon. I'm a regular gym goer, love walking and like to take on a challenge when one presents itself. It gives me the drive to keep active and gives me something to focus on and train for, which really helps in keeping me motivated. I think it's really important to note that health and fitness isn't a one size fits all. Some people hate the gym, some people hate running. For some, health is all about the mind or connecting with your body in the form of yoga or pilates. It's going for a walk or a swim or whatever it is you believe makes you feel better. It's very easy to fall into the I'm too busy rut when it comes to health and fitness, yet it's quite possibly the most important thing you can do for yourself. It gives you some time out to reset yourself, a break from the computer or television screen. For some, it's social interaction with other like-minded people and it's a way to let off a little steam when needed. I often feel guilty when I train, thinking I should be at home seeing my family after I've been at work all day, but actually, they get a better version of me when I've had that bit of time for myself after a stressful day. I believe this is because after that hour where I've had nothing else to think about other than getting through the workout and I've released endorphins, we'll come back to those in just a minute, I feel a lot less stressed and the time I've then got to spend with my family is quality and I feel I can be more present at home. So, back to endorphins. These little bad boys are known as the happy hormone. Your body releases them when it feels pain or stress. They are produced to help relieve pain, reduce stress and improve mood and can be boosted through exercise and other extracurricular activities, so I'm told. Always remember to follow all necessary precautions. Health and well-being isn't just about weight loss. Lifestyle, food choices, sleep and mindfulness are equally important. I would suggest if you don't feel like you're ready for strenuous exercise, then just doing a little more than you're doing now is a great way to start. Try tracking your daily steps and work on increasing them up to around 10,000 a day. Try parking further away in the supermarket or at work. Take stairs where possible. Walk around the kitchen while you wait for the kettle to boil. One thing I often do is squats while brushing my teeth. That burns after two minutes, let me tell you. Water intake is essential. Carry your refillable Motus water bottle everywhere with you and aim to drink two litres every day. This helps with digestion, flushing out toxins, it's great for your skin and keeps you hydrated, especially when you up your activity levels. Regarding diet, this is more important than any exercise. I would say don't completely cut anything out if you're on a weight loss journey. Life's about enjoyment after all, but try and make smarter choices when you can, such as changing mayonnaise to the light option. One tablespoon in normal full fat mayo is 91 calories in comparison to 35 in the lighter option. Yet it doesn't taste quite the same, but if it's pounds you want to lose, then some sacrifices have to be made. Have a side salad with your pizza instead of chips, have whole wheat bread instead of white, and swap out wine or beer with a vodka and tonic or a gin and tonic when you want to have a little party. Using a tracker such as MyFitnessPal to help understand the amount of calories in your diet and any weekly trends you can see can be really helpful. It's not always about eating too much either. Some people don't eat enough. I don't fall into that category. So... In summary, do what makes you happy and makes you feel energised. Remember to look after yourself, not only for you, but for your loved ones too. The happier and healthier we are, the better version of you they're going to get. 